A very warm good morning to all of you. Dear students, once again, welcome back to the English literature class. Today, we are continuing with the same short story. Unit number 7, title of the story is The Little Match Girl, written by Hans Christian Andersen. Part 4. In the last class, we were discussing about the four di different visions of the little girl. When she stubbed the mastic one by one, she had got three different visions. That's what we were seeing in the last class. Let's see what had happened in the life of that girl. She stuck another match on the wall. Once more there was light and in the glow stood her old grandmother all oh, so bright and shining and looking so gentle, kind and loving. So this is for the fourth time. She has taken away one more mastic. He stuck it on the wall. Once again there was a huge light. In the light she has experienced. She just saw her grandmother and in the glow stood her old grandmother. Oh, so bright and shining because her grandmother already passed away years before but still once when she stuck the fourth matchstick she is experiencing she is feeling like her grandmother is standing near to her and looking so gentle kind and loving her grandmother was looking so beautiful and there were a lot of grace in her appearance and the little girl was really fascinated with that. We have already seen at the last part of yesterday's class. There she experienced or she just had a vision of her grandmother who was the only person shown some sympathy, some kindness towards the little girl. Granny cried the little girl, Oh, take me with you. I know you will disappear when the match is burned out. So the child is becoming so passionate towards her grandmother. That's why she just cried out. She just called. Granny cried the little girl, Oh, take me with you. I know you will disappear when the match is burned out. I know once the flame is over, once the magic is over, you will disappear. Before that, I just want to tell you, you just take me with you, Granny. That was a request from the side of the girl. You will vanish like the warm stove, the lovely rose goose and the great glorious Christmas tree. So these were the three different visions which the child had. First she has vis visioned a warm stove. The second was a lovely rose goose and the third was a great glorious Christmas tree. So once the mastic was over, those three visions also vanished. Here the child says in the same way you also will be vanished once the match is burned out. So my dear granny please take me also with you. I just want to come with you. Then she quickly stuck all the rest of the matches she had in the packet for she did so want to keep her grandmother with her. Suddenly she got some idea in her mind. She took the rest of the matchstick and she stuck all the rest of the matchsticks. She did it just for one purpose. What was that? She did it because she just wanted to keep her grandmother with her. She was knowing once the magic burned out, her grandmother will be vanished, disappeared. So in order to keep her grandmother with her, she just took rest of the magic and made a beautiful light there. The matches flared up with such a blaze that it was brighter than broad daylight. And her old grandmother had never seemed so beautiful or so stately before. There are two new words for you. First one is flamed. Flared means a sudden bright light. And second one is blaze. Blaze means a fast burning fire. So what happened? When she took rest of the mastic and stuck it on the wall, 
it made a huge light the matches flared there was a sudden bright light up with such a blaze blaze means a fast burning fire that it was brighter than broad daylight it created a huge light means it was even brighter than the light of day and her old grandmother had ever seemed so beautiful or so stately before so her grandmother looked so beautiful she never seen her grandmother in such a beauty way in such a way her grandmother was looking and she was so happy to see her grandmother she took the little girl in her arms and flew with her high up oh so high towards glory and joy now they knew neither cold nor hunger nor fear for they were both with god so what did the grandmother did the grandmother carried the little girl in her arms she took the little girl in her arms and flew with her high up so high towards glory and joy so she just took the little child in her hands in her arms and started to fly towards where towards glory and joy now they knew neither cold nor hunger nor fear now they were not having fear no hunger no cold none of these factors were a matter for them they were not knowing it because they were in a different world where they were they were with they were both with god but in the cold down in the corner formed by the two houses sat the little girl with rosy cheeks and smiling lips dead frozen to death on the last evening of the old year the next day when the rest of the people or west of the people of that street when they came out of the house in the morning next day morning they have experienced they have seen that a that a girl sitting at the corner which formed by the two houses where she was sitting at the last night those people they have seen her at that place sat the little girl with the rosy cheeks and smiling lips so her face were rose in color and there was a smile at her lips the last part of a beautiful smile dead frozen to death on the last evening of the old year what was her state now was she alive no never she was dead her body was frozen so dead frozen to death on the last evening of the old year they found her dead in the corner formed by the two houses the dawn of the new year rose on the huddled figure of the girl she was still holding the matches and half a packet had been burned so the next day morning the new year the first day of the new year there was a message for them there was a news for them the people of that street what was that they have seen a girl found dead a, they have found a girl dead in the corner of the building she was still holding the matches in her hand still there was that rest of the matches and half a packet had been already burned she was evidently trying to warm herself people said after seeing her poster seeing the matches in her arms what the people they told they told she was evidently trying to warm herself one by one she was trying to stroke the match six and was trying to warm up herself people said but no one knew what beautiful visions she had seen and in what a blaze of glory she had endured with her dear old grandmother into the heavenly joy and gladness of a new year so nobody the people who gathered around her nobody was knowing what was the real feeling of that girl how much joyfully she has spent the last night and now where the girl is nobody was knowing it now she was in heaven with the god it was a world of glory and it was a world of joy and the gladness of a new year and to that world the girl has entered so here the author is winding up the story the the sufferings the pain of the girl 
has vanished forever from her life. The fear, the cold, the hunger, whatever pains she has experienced in her life was over forever. Oh dear students, this is the story, The Little Match Girl. And I hope you have got a very clear idea about the story. In the next class, we will begin with the next chapter. Still then, I would like to sign off. Thank you.